Right now we're looking at low temperatures and this has been lovely. The last couple of mornings you really notice that the tide has turned a little bit, if you will. Uh, temperatures starting off nice. Down in the low 60s, Clayton, down to 61. Here in Amarillo, 64 degrees. Uh, it is a great start to the day. And we're looking at mainly sunny skies across the area, but we're not, you know, seeing temperatures soaring up into the upper 90s by lunchtime. In fact, we're staying pretty much in the 80s, some 70s out in New Mexico, Tutankeri and up towards Clayton. We do have a few low 90s on the map, and it's, it's going to be a warm afternoon, but compared to what we have survived so far in August, just not a bad problem at all. The wind is very light, less than 10 miles per hour across the area. And when we track our temperatures for the rest of the day, we'll be in the 90s, but it's going to be more like mid-90s, I think, for most of the afternoon. <coughs> Maybe a, a few folks for a 97 or 8, but double digits and not the triples. So we're already seeing some improvements. Skies are, for the most part, clear. We'll track a little bit of moisture. You can see uh, some clouds uh, just kind of thin out in New Mexico where we had some rain last night, of course. This will be the same area that we keep an eye peeled on later today. I don't think it's going to be quite as widespread as what we had out there last night. But anywhere in the light green, there could at least be a pop-up shower or thunder shower starting late this afternoon into the early evening. I think it's going to be hit and miss uh, for the better part later today. Model run shows, you know, again, a little bit of popcorn generally in New Mexico and near the Texas border and then those play out overnight. So just a slight chance of rain. Most of us will, I think, kind of miss out. But our weather pattern is really improving. If we take a look nationwide here, you'll see kind of a big broad clockwise loop. That's the high pressure dome, but instead of being just stamped right over us and parked here for a week straight, it's drifted off to the east and it has weakened. So already we're seeing, uh, you know, rain chances up and temperatures down. But this feature right here, since it's raining, oh, down around Austin, San Antonio and Houston, that's a uh, little upper level low. And that's drifting our way. So that's going to be the, uh, I think, the catalyst for some additional rain as we get a little bit later on, starting about Thursday into the weekend. Take a look at this model run going a little further. This gets us into Thursday. You'll see that. You'll see the rain starting to increase. We also get a wind shift in here. So we're getting kind of a, a one-two punch that's really going to help. Take a look up here to the north. These are current temperatures. It's only in the 60s in our northern states. And that's some cooler air that will start to move in again Thursday into the weekend. And look at our rain chances picking up. 40 to 50 percent as we get to Thursday night into Friday. We may hang on to that going into our Labor Day weekend. So the possibility and the probability of rain is looking better, which brings us to this. You know, we're down to just a few days left in the rain gauge showdown. <laughs> and I got back into town from my trip and promptly got about an inch and a quarter of rain, which vaulted me into the lead, at least for the time being. And with rain back in the forecast, I promise you, the entire weather team just sitting back, hoping that uh, maybe they can get one last big hurrah and win this thing, it could happen, just about any of us. But I'd like to be sitting on top. Look at those 80s, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. How about a hallelujah there? It's cooling off. Rain chances are looking better. I think we're, we're going to make it.